Hey guys, it's the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a quick midweek update. I'm in the RV here and I'm working on a small project that doesn't really require a super long video. Anyways, I want to turn this into a communications kind of hub. And for that, I've got to do some work on the 12 volt system to power some of my devices. Let's take a quick look at what I'm doing. So the goal is to be able to power devices like my man packs. This is a new one I'm working on. And this one is the Anytone 578. And uh, whatever it is, most of my equipment, actually all my amateur radio equipment is standardized on 12 volts Anderson power poles. The great thing about the coach is that uh, about three years ago, maybe four years ago, I took the time and I invested in two 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries from Battleborn. So that's 200 amp hours that we could potentially tap into just to run the radios in the rig. All right, sorry about the lighting. In terms of power, I need to tap in somewhere. And we've got this area over here by our bed that is underutilized and it is a 12 volt cigarette adapter. I don't plan on using this because I do not plan on uh, basically doing any type of radio stuff at the bed. Instead, I want to go ahead and drop it on this side here. Let's pull this out and mount it somewhere there, basically a Anderson power pole panel. And I've identified where I can actually steal uh, the cable from or the power from. Uh, it looks like they did under gauge the wire going into the cigarette adapter. Um, and I mean, pretty much did a one hell of a job here. So that kind of sucks that they skimped there. So let me show you some of the tools I'm gonna be using to do this little project. All right, so we're gonna start with the, uh, well, let's pull a few things out here. So number one, I've had this um, PowerWorks Anderson power panel for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a one and one eighth inch uh, hole into the uh, cabinet there. So we're gonna use this to have our interface. In terms of wire, I actually have a ton of mobile cable that has come with most of my radios that's already fused. So I'm gonna cut this down and we're gonna wire it up to this bit here. Inside, I'm gonna go ahead and wire up something else I had on hand. And it's just a small PowerWorks Anderson power pole distribution hub. And uh, in terms of the tools, we're gonna need to have a hole saw. This is one and one eighth inch. I actually had to go pick this up this morning. I went with the Milwaukee hole dozer. And then we've got some wire cutters and wire strippers. I have Anderson power poles and I'll be using the 45 uh, amp connectors. And then this is one investment I made when I first got started. And this is just a good crimper for the power pole. So that's it for the operation. And then of course, a couple of drills here to do the job. So I disconnected shore power and then we're gonna kill the uh, battery disconnect for safety. So like I said, this cable typically comes with my mobile rigs and they're pretty nice because they're usually double fused. And I already put a pigtail for Anderson power poles on this one sometime back. And really I don't need a whole lot. So I'm gonna snip and probably have about an 18th inch run available here. And then obviously I can use the remainder of this cable for other projects since this is pretty high quality stuff. This is a 10 gauge cable. So I had to go with the heavy duty um, strippers. These are nice. They do a really good job. I'll put a link down below where I got this stuff. So about a half inch or so. I've always uh, memorized this as right on right, tongue down. And I got to tell you, look at that. That is a beautiful crimp. Works almost every time. Uh, I really love having good tools. That's the one thing that uh, I learned very early on from, believe it or not, my wife. Um, she's like, invest in good tools. Auto ratchet, baby. Listen to this click. Boom. So we're gonna go ahead and feed this one uh, once we're ready through the wall and then to this guy here. Pretty easy to, to set up. So not bad using stuff I already had. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and snip off these guys here. The power's already done. And I'll leave this as a project to do later on. So now what I have to do is add some power poles to, to these guys and then we'll put a power distribution block right there. So I also put power poles on this guy. Uh, not the best job in the world, but um, it was rough actually working in there to get that going. Next up, we're gonna mount this little guy, and I think I'm just gonna put it somewhere along this wall. Boom shaka raka. The reason why the light sucks is because we're working on the electrical system. Next 
Next up, mounting the panel. Oh, and we threw. So we have a nice little hole there for uh, our little project. So pretty straightforward. We're going to remove the retaining ring. This will go on the back side or the inside of that cabinet. And then we already have the preceded Anderson power pole housings. So all I need to do is basically put this guy in front, drop this from behind and secure it. Excellent. We want to make sure we have the ring ready to go as we feed it through so that we can go ahead and lock it in place. Boom shaka laka. There's one. We got it guys. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and test on our meter. And we're at 13.40 volts. Good ape success. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We've got the new man pack here. I went ahead and disconnected the battery that's connected to the radio. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in this bad boy. Let's turn on the power. Oh yeah. Check that out. So I'll likely have to get another patch lead that will take me probably to this table here. But anyways, guys, this is uh, not gonna be edited like I normally do. This is just a quick uh, kind of update video that I'll try to do maybe on Wednesdays or Thursdays in between my normal videos. The DMR basic analog programming is coming up next. I think I forgot the tagline. Be strong, be safe, be prepared. Catch you later, guys.